Blessings everyone, this is Sandra. I've been guided to provide some light intelligence, some light intel on solstice and the full moon. And since I'm a little crushed for time and space, I'm grabbing a friend's place here and I'm going to, to freestyle it. <laughs> so I haven't done this before. Um, I've only done this on my website a couple of times where I, I don't censor what comes through from my higher self and just write it down and just post it that way, um, especially with, um, again, being so short, short on time when it comes to posting things on the internet lately. So, uh, first time for everything, here we go. Uh, higher self. Higher levels, creator levels, manifest levels, take command. Thank you, I open myself as a pure conduit of light intelligence, benevolence, please provide information clear and directly on the solstice and this upcoming full moon, how we may best prepare and what is involved. Thank you. <laughs> The solstice gathering that you are participating in and the solstice gatherings that we are participating in all over the planet are purposeful. Last year we had a good deal of ceremony because we were gathering to activate the new reality and the new reality flipped on the 1212 and 1221 anchored it within humanity. The fifth dimensional consciousness, the state of beingness, which is termed unity, unity consciousness without the veils, without the illusion, yes dear. This has been present and stronger since the equinox. And now we're getting into an area of space which provides the photonic light amplifications which open the micro wormholes and the highest quality DNA within us. We can command this open. Yes, and Beloved will provide that information for you after this message. Thank you. The pure message here is that those who have cleared their energy fields, the mind, the emotions, the body, and especially the egoic level of consciousness, the constructs which are not the true human genome, but behave, have behaved as if they were. Those that have cleared that and have stepped into experiences of pure source consciousness, allowing that state of unity consciousness to come through, We are now in a position in space where that would be amplified and accelerated and those portals which have been presenting for many within the collective, the ascending and awakened collective. Yes, the spinning, the golden circles, the spinning, the spirals that are starting now to appear in the fourth dimensional reality, eyes open, with the spinning, yes. Those portals will provide an opportunity for those who are ready and those who are choosing that kind of ascension to experience a walking through, first a sensation within the body vehicle, and it will be tested, presented, you move into it, the body vehicle begins to experience the dissolvement and the complete elimination of the emotions the mental level and that egoic structure, the fear, the doubt, the survival levels. It's up to the body whether or not it experiences a state of panic without those levels. There will be a glitch. There will be a sense of anxiety when the body first surrenders. So the portals, the spinning will present in many different ways in many different areas, realize that it is not the location. That portal is being created by the person themselves with their higher selves, their higher levels, 
guidance realms and oftentimes uh, brotherhoods of light or galactic councils that have decided that this particular area of space and this particular alignment yes it is a trigger Sandra this particular sequence of days allows for these portals to present for people to move into them if they so choose and begin to get the body accustomed to that vibration that higher vibrational frequency sometimes makes the body feel quite tired as Sanra explained the the experience of high fourth dimensional high fourth dimensional energetics make the body feel as a a reflex as a normal reaction uh, sleepy sleepy and tired because it is accustomed to experiencing the high fourth dimensional state whilst dreaming while asleep so when it begins to experience that in its external reality it wants to close its eyes and take a nap okay <laughs> so when the portals present for those of you who are creating them welcoming them in it does not matter where you are it does matter that you get quiet and when the portals begin to present the ones that used to present in the third and fourth eye are now presenting in the external something that you move into with your consciousness not in the physical it engulfs and then begins to trigger different combinations of energetic and light sequences within the cells of the body and allows it to get accustomed to the experience of walking through let me provide information. Okay, thank you. The 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 portals that uh, that um, my higher self is talking about are the 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 spirals or that golden circle ring within ring that a lot of us have been experiencing in meditation and are now experiencing when you're you're glancing across the room, you're looking, uh, or you're in a natural place. A lot of times it happens for me in natural places, but it's been occurring for me in uh, everywhere so I've I've been playing with moving my consciousness into that again it's not the the it's not the pure walkthrough experience we're not walking through to a fifth dimension what we're doing is is aligning with these particular energetics that we are creating co-creating with our higher levels in order to get the body used to that experience of holding a pure fifth dimensional vibration and as we move out of that fourth dimensional sleepy state into that fifth dimension that's when the the full-on unity consciousness begins to anchor itself within the cells the micro wormholes in the highest quality DNA within us can be commanded open micro wormholes in the highest quality DNA within me within all of my cells open and aligned with the external portals which are presenting right now and let me receive the light signatures the energy signatures of the true human genome the new template the supreme light that I truly am I'm ready I'm ready to receive let it present and when you when you command that when you welcome that into your life stream your, your life stream is going to begin to magnetize uh, the presentation of these different portals and as you move into them during this particular passage in time we have a, a, a passage on this timeline of solstice all the way through the full moon and continuing this is yes initiation initiation steps for those who are, are willing and prepared to walk through again it depends on the state of your energy bodies, your light body, and your physical body. Physical body, if it has been cared for, and if you've been practicing using the energy, using your new skills, expanding the crystalline structures within you. If you've been working with the light body, charging, sun gazing, 
working with uh, different energetic fields, working on opening your, your consciousness and your different fields to, to, f to sense higher levels of light. If you've been having that interaction with uh, light beings or even with light ships, yes? Yes, the light ships that have been uh, flashing and, and beaming. Um, I, I heard James Gillian refer to this as, as powering up. Um, I, I'm experiencing a, a different kind of interaction where it is uh, being called upon. It is something that when you have that communication, and the communication comes from high heart, solar heart center, you know, right from this communication center. We've been talking about the vagus nerve being that rewiring of the, of the communication center where you can still beam things with, with light out of here, but the light is coming from, from here now when it comes to interdimensional communication. So when you're opening up this solar heart center, this solar logos communication, this pure Christed state, and sending it out to your off-world brethren or those who are assisting humanity in this transition, we're going to assist you with creation of those energetic portals that allow you to receive the updated light signatures, activations, accelerations of this path into unity consciousness. And the unity consciousness does not come without the clearing of those constructs of emotions, mind, ego that we have been, we have been uh, clearing for several years now that we have been dealing with and trans transcending into higher and higher levels of light where they can serve in a very different way. The emotions become the intuition, the feeling, feeling into, you know, that's a, a new skill for some, the feeling of presences, of interaction, clairaudience, clairvoyance, clairsentience, claircognizance, all of those different skills now anchoring into the body vehicle where it's not foreign, it's not strange, it doesn't make it anxious or freak out anymore. This is something that is quite natural, and that natural interaction with your higher levels flying around in the atmosphere right now, or your star brethren or your star family assists. Again, we're not going to go on the light ship in the physical at this time. That's, that's not happening. This is about getting the body vehicle used to a higher dimensional state and comfortable with a higher dimensional state so then that contact can occur without our dear off-world brethren having to step down their light because the planet is increasing its frequency so quickly now. Mm, yes, halfway through 2013, we're, we're already in that high fourth dimensional state, already experiencing that. And as the planet moves toward her final uh, ascension into a fifth dimensional, sixth dimensional star light body state, she is doing the same thing that we are doing with the solar logos. She is also going solar logos, creating a spiritual sun for beings of a high resonance to experience something extraordinary. And this is the transformation that we're going through right now. This is transcendence. But the body will always try to keep up with the frequency. The body is made of the substance of Gaia. It is her beingness that we inhabit when we come and visit this planet and step in as spirit into form. It is her form. And those particles of her beingness will always try to match frequency which she is giving off. That's just a natural part of its survival mechanism. It, If the emotion, mind, ego levels have not been cleared, then they will create uh, destruction. They will prevent the body vehicle from, from going any further. It is a, a ceiling on the ascension process. The body vehicle will try to, to hold a higher level of light, but the emotion, mind, egos will create states of chaos, madness, emotional breakdown, depression. It will start creating things. The higher self will start creating things in a life stream to prevent it from, from trying to go any, any higher. 
because uh, it will literally destroy the body. The vehicle will start to break down. There's only a certain amount of light that can come in when those other structures are still running the experience of, of are trying to recreate an experience of a third dimensional level which does not exist anymore. So for those who have cleared those areas and understand the ascension process, there's an opportunity in the next few days to accelerate and start to experience uh, a walking through with those portals with the assistance of star brethren, angelic realms, higher levels, guidance realms, and those that you have pre-agreements with to assist you in this time. The Pleiadian-Syrian alliance, along with the Lemurians, are having an impact on those who are in the, the crystalline corridor, uh, which, which I've been working with in the last nine weeks, from uh, Mount Shasta, actually up into Ashland, into the Oregon Triangular Vortex as well, all the way down into um, Joshua Tree, Grand Canyon, Chaco, Sudan, all throughout uh, southwest and up into the northwest. And this particular area is getting um, a very strong activation right now when it comes to the Pleiadian, Syrian, Lemurian alliances. And, and it's a, a beautiful thing because this is where, where, the, um, where the Lemurians' main area of, of existence, you know, they're cities are right below us. So they are assisting us at this time with holding a higher level of frequency. Now that the, the awakened and descending collective is running the collective consciousness instead of the lower density folks having a vote, the higher density is now trumping it completely. And that is, again, pure physics, raising the vibration, raising the vibration. And now the overlighting of the planetary consciousness, that collective, the collective new sphere of, of collective intent is now being run by the higher intent. And I want to, to share something that, um, that Jason from Team, Team Light mentioned a couple of weeks ago. He was talking about working with highest intent each moment. I think that's brilliant because a lot of us work with the highest integrity or attempt to every day, you know, setting an intention at the beginning of the day. If you're in the course, go back to the Essene material, setting an intention at morning when you first wake up, at noon, and at night before you go into the astral, into dream state. Those intentions set the pace for what you're going to experience. And Jason added another level to it, and I think it's brilliant. Uh, highest intent, highest integrity, each moment, intending to to serve in the highest intentions of all concerned, in the highest interests of all concerned, each moment is where unity consciousness is present all the time. You know, there and there is for those of us who are in service and moving into this fifth dimensional consciousness, there is no question, there is no doubt, there are no fears. The survival levels are not triggered any longer by by any lower level constructs, it's a complete, uh, there, there's a complete lack of, of questioning when it comes to service. Of course, yes, of course, what is needed? What skills am I going to utilize in this moment? What is being called upon? This is the, the merge of the higher self and the lower self. Complete merge is occurring and we don't know how this is going to transform the body vehicle just yet when the when the full complete merge and, and lighting up of that fifth dimensional solar cosmic Christed state of beingness occurs. But for the time being, do practice and hold that highest intent all the time to let the higher self allow the higher levels to do what it is that divine will, divine unity, divine love and divine creative intelligence is directing at this time. It's going to change. It's going to change day by day, hour by hour, moment by moment. Hold that intention as best you can and be that pure conduit for that light intelligence that is coming in right now. It is you. This is 
yes, there, there are alignments occurring that bring things to you, but you as, a, as an electromagnetic being are attracting the photonic light by holding it within you, the cosmic light that you welcome forth, cosmic light that you truly are, Cosmic light that is radiating through the stargate portals right within your solar heart center. Right now. Right now. You can feel the clarity in this. This is the, the step we're in right now. Clear. My heart is clear. I am clear. My fields are clear. Everything is clear. And when you are in that state of clarity, the higher levels can do the, do the work, do what's intended, do what is needed. I'm still going to take care of ourselves and our life streams as best we can. Still going to be regular things occurring. But when you feel the guidance, when you feel, you know, this isn't the tap on the shoulder, this is the tap with this is the cosmic light coming out. This is this is us. This is us coming forth. And our willingness and participation and practice in not just calling that forth, but being in it, being it, being it, breathing it. My heart is clear. Know it, feel it, say it. My heart is clear. I am the cosmic light. I am the resurrection. I am the way, the truth, and the life. I am the light of this world. And so are you. I am all that I am. This is unity. Moving into it. And if we have to change everything that we were doing yesterday, last moment, last second, in order to accommodate the new level of light, so be it. Plans were plans. It was what it was. It's all that is. It's beautiful.